Like I said, they've been pulling, dragging. We've been searching under everything and nothing, nothing. Divers and cadaver dogs are still out on a canal in Jean Lafitte Park looking for a special needs child who fell into the water 24 hours ago. Officials have identified the boy as a four year old with autism from Marrero. He was last seen around the Twin Canal near Lafitte National Park. That was yesterday. McFerris has been following this story and joins us with the latest. Thursday late afternoon in Jean Lafitte National Park, four year old Ellis Bodine slipped off of the bank of the Twin Canal into the water. The special needs child was with his mother and a younger sibling. He never resurfaced. The mother went in uh, after the child uh, where the three year old ended up jumping in, and so then the mother had to, to rescue the three year old. Uh, yeah, after 911 called, our, our deputies, along with fire, um, made entry into the water, searched as much as they could by foot. Uh, our dive team was here within, um, you know, probably 30, 40 minutes. Officials from several law enforcement agencies searched for the child with sonar and divers until 5 Friday morning. <laughs> Mercy search and rescue cadaver dogs rode the boats and with aggressive barking alerted police to an area of interest. But they use the dogs when divers don't get a lot of visibility and such or the currents are running a little harder. So what the dogs can do is say here this is where you need to check and then they can start to isolate. That way you're not throwing divers and, and sonar and all these other things. Several dozen people, many who are strangers, saw the news on social media and waited in the rain to offer help. Yeah, I've seen it on Facebook and I know if I had any kids, you know, I'd want people to do the same for me. I've been walking these all morning and nothing and I just, you know, hoping to find clothes, you know, they find closure because I mean, it's, it's so sad. I mean, I have a child of my own. Because the water is completely dark and filled with natural swamp debris, the JP Sheriff's Office asked them to help clear the wooded debris from the water in the area of interest. Among those working are relatives of little Ellis, who said their entire focus right now was finding the child. And that was Meg Ferris reporting. We'll, of course, continue to follow along with this story coming up on Eyewitness News at 6.